Welcome back. A group of young Ethiopians have created a taxi hailing app, which they hope can challenge the international rivals who are currently dominating the market. They started to register drivers and they hope that the originality and flexibility they intend to offer can allow them to survive against competition and perhaps even venture into East Africa's largest economy. So GTN's Koleto Anjohi has that story on Grassroots tonight. The city of Addis Ababa, with a population of at least 4 million people, has a serious challenge with transportation. These young people want to fill this gap through their new taxi hailing app. We developed uh, our own application, so that gives us a unique competitive advantage over others because whenever we want, we can update it, we can integrate it, we can scale it up. So mostly the others have rented or bought cheaper applications, so that gives us uh, a strategic edge. They are using fellow young people to grow their business in the so-called gig economy. For our brand ambassadors and influencers, most of them are young. So that means not only you have to have a job, not only you have to have a full job, but also you can have you know, other jobs as a part-time job. You have whatever you do at your house, and then when you, when, whenever you want to go out and make money, we're here. We're trying to reach out to them. So whenever they come, we're like, yeah, we're there. There are about eight taxi hailing apps in the market, but one dominates with over 15,000 drivers' subscriptions. One challenge the new taxi hailing apps have is that the dominant company in the market says its drivers cannot work for competitors. It has even threatened to fine them for doing so. And so many drivers are subscribing to other apps secretly. The survival of the taxi app business is highly dependent on internet connectivity, but analysts say low connectivity and internet shutdowns by the government threaten the survival of e-commerce and other digital businesses. A big percentage of our population lives dispersed across the countryside and they are unable to connect. They are not connected, which means we can't create prosperity for them. Uh, and for that to happen, we need to upgrade the infrastructure in terms of telecommunications and connectivity. Innovators like these young people are now banking on the government's plan to liberalize the telecommunications sector to stabilize internet connectivity and enable them go the extra mile. Koleto Anjohi, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.